So Activision's third installment of the Modern Warfare remake has been making news for the wrong reasons, like charging $70 for a 3.5 hour campaign despite having an open combat missions concept that's similar to Warzone, just smaller environments. Activision released a campaign mode for early access during November the 2nd, resulting in a very negative reception. And this was supposed to be a full game, so many gamers were expecting a lengthy story mode, or at least within the same hours to complete like the previous installments. Meanwhile, Separate Ways, the story-based DLC for Resident Evil clocked in a respectable 3-5 to five hours, and guess what? It was only $10. Capcom does it again, so what else can I say? Now let's keep it a buck here. Most Call of Duty players are focused on the multiplayer, which is the best thing in my opinion, but that still doesn't justify Activision charging as much as $70, as there are some that prefer playing the story mode. I played the beta a few weeks back, and to be honest, I wasn't that impressed. It's too samey, as in last year's game. So let's just say that I'm very content with Modern Warfare 2 Remake. And this is a hard pass until a price drops to at least $40, which just might happen. I wouldn't hold my breath on it, but wait till the Black Friday sale shows up. Just when it was announced that Microsoft acquired Activision, it's uh, something about bad timing. If you ask me, it's best that Microsoft dump this game on Game Pass to offset the pushback. Only time will tell.